Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday Coffee. Today we will talk about open registration for a Team 23, changes to marketplace app reviews, a new feature for Jira service management, which is a team managed project. We will have a look at this week's events and the article of the week uh, talking about the myth of the genius founder. And then we will move to the partner news. Well, there are many exciting news this week, so let's get the thing started. But before we go to the news, uh, just a quick introduction. Hi, I'm Nikki, and this is Piro. We are the founders of Jigsaw, which is a fast-growing marketplace partner building the work management apps for Chira Cloud. You can check out more about what we do on our website, jigsaw.io. Right, so news. Okay. Welcome back, by the way. Oh, yeah, what <laughs> was that? What was that last week? Yeah, now he's like, we missed you. You you thought that I, I won't watch the Monday coffee, right? Well, the I... word was Nikki abandoned me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I didn't abandon you. Okay, well, let's have a look at the first news. Really exciting ones. Team 23 registration is now open. Don't miss out on the biggest Atlassian conference of the year. Again in Las Vegas on April 18 to 20. If you're planning to go now, it's a really, really good time to register because you get 50% off the full price of the ticket. You can also register on hands-on training to learn how to use Atlassian tools for efficient collaboration, Agile and DevOps, and ITSM. And I think like the biggest news maybe, at least for us, is we are going to our first Teams event this year. After are five we? years? Yeah. We will be there. Yeah, we'll definitely be there. Um, but do, you, do we know how many tickets they're selling this year? How many uh, spots available? Uh, I did not see the spot availability, but uh, there are again the tiers. So either you can go in person or you can register for the online event, which is for free. Yeah, I'm curious if they, because last time, or last year, I think they had a smaller venue. So I'm curious if they increased that or still. Either way, so awesome experience to um, to connect with partners and find out about Atlassian tools. So yeah, book your tickets at half price, which is awesome, right? Atlassian is introducing a new feature called reviewer verification to make uh, app reviews on its marketplace more trustworthy. The process will require users to be logged in with a verified email that does not belong to the vendor uh, of the app being reviewed. They will need to check a box um, that they are a user of the app and submit their review. Atlassian will then verify that the reviewer actually has the app installed on their instance or had it installed at any time in the past six months before the review becomes live. This step is uh, being added to cloud app listings and will add a delay between submission and publication. Atlassian is also working on strengthening its policies around fair behavior on the marketplace. And honestly, I think it's about time because there's been so many reports of, um, you know, potential um, reviews that were not supposed to be there and so on. So I think tightening the tightening the belt around, <laughs> around reviews and social validation in a way on the marketplace will just give customers even more confidence in in choosing the right tools on the marketplace. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think this is definitely, definitely super useful. Well, let's have a look at the next news, which is a new feature in Jira service management. So if you are looking for more flexibility and control over your Jira service management projects, I have really great news for you. A team managed projects are now available in GSM, which allows teams to quickly set up their own uh, GSM projects without impacting organization-wide settings. Features that you can find uh, in the team managed projects are, for example, custom fields, customizable workflows, and project scope roles, and of course, permissions. And if that is not enough, soon you will be also able to access the global custom fields. These features provide a simplified project creation experience for project admins, but also for the teams. But 
important thing to remember, ITSM features like, for example, incident management and change management do not work in team managed projects yet. So it's recommended to use team managed projects mainly for non-IT teams in GSM. So if you are using Jira service management, have a look at the, this post and give it a try today. That is that's cool. I, I feel that I've missed a bit these feature roundups. Do we have anything else? Or was, is that it? No, this is the only feature roundup this week, but I think it's quite significant. Yeah, we can't really call it a roundup if it's only one. <laughs> but anyways, we're getting into it. I feel that um, the entire Atlassian world is now slowly awakening from, well, <laughs> from its slumber. You know when the all features are going to be announced. We all know when it's going to be. Yes. In that's... April. Team 23. Yeah, but there's a dry January, as I said, and it continues on the event stage as well with very little to no new Atlassian or partner organized events. There is one partner event uh, I want to highlight for this week, but I'll talk a bit about it over the partner news section. Uh, so there are, however, plenty of ACE events happening. And here's a couple worth mentioning. On January 24th, uh, there is a ACE virtual event in Colombo, Sri Lanka, where a senior project manager at 825 will provide a guide to Scrum and how to set up a Scrum board using Jira. On Wednesday, there is a hybrid event in uh, Maidenhead, UK, where Sven Peters from Atlassian will uh, share the 2022 state of teams findings and discuss what makes a legendary team. Then on January 26th, there is a ACE in-person event in Stuttgart, Germany, where attendees will learn how to optimize teamwork and automate data center operations using Confluence and Jira. Plenty more community events, so navigate to Goosely Calendar for all the details. Now, I've, I feel, I don't know, I've, this year coming in, I don't know if it's because it's a new calendar that we created in Goosely and so on, but I feel that there's so much more excitement around ACE events. It's already plenty of them and there's really high quality talks and webinars happening over ACE events. So you have to check them out. There's hybrid and um, in person as well as uh, virtual events. So you have a lot to choose for. So go ahead and check it out. I think community leaders are doing a really great uh, job this year in putting the variety of the different events together. So it does feel it does feel like that because the caliber of the talks in ACE has gradually improved. So well done to the community um, leaders for that. Thank you for giving us this. <laughs> well, I have an article of the week. This week it's controversial, Bureau. Is it? Mm -hmm. I must admit, I didn't see it. This is, this, this is going to be my live reaction now. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Uh, I think I think we are all tired by now uh, hearing the story about one genius founder building a successful company all by themselves. Right? Uh, well, the truth is that even the most talented founders need a team to go from good to great company. So the myth of the superhero leader often downplays the importance of building a team with a complementary skill set and self-awareness to recognize that no one person can do it all. It's not about one person, but it's about the collective effort and uh, hard work of a team that really drives the company to success. So if you want to learn more about why the myth of Genie's founder is holding us back, check out the link for the article in the description. Yeah, I think I realized that back in 2017. That we are now Genie's founders. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, after failing so many startups, uh, you know, and that is probably one of the primary reasons why, you know, we partner up and then they immediately started gathering uh, an awesome team around us was because we realized we're, we're not superhero. Like, the, no one's a superhero to build a business, a, a, gr a crazy growth business on their own. I think the team is more in a driver seat than they than think they yeah. are often. Yeah. Well, 
That's for the article of the week. What's in yeah. the partner side? And now a rapid round on the partner updates. The ecosystem team is writing a blog on partners providing exceptional customer support for apps on the Atlassian marketplace. They are looking for advice and experience to feature on the developer blog. They are asking for advice on templates and solutions for providing support as well as resources, tools, or events that have been helpful for providing support. Examples of advice include the importance of designing a clear and valid service catalog and using Confluence to build a robust knowledge base. Partners are encouraged to drop a comment for a brief chat or to share their advice. I was reading through uh, what partners already commented under that post, and I can tell you this article will be very useful for partners and especially new partners coming into the ecosystem and trying to figure out how to service mm -hmm. um, their app customers, their app users. Um, so I'm looking forward for that article. Then Comunardo and Avisio uh, webinar. The use of tools such as user profiles for Jira and customer and organization management for Jira service management can improve team productivity by providing more context in Jira um, issues to respond to requests, incidents, and uh, changes rapidly. This can lead to an outstanding customer support experience. So join their webinar to learn more about how to use data in Azure uh, to extend internal customers, use customs data to extend external customers, and uh, upgrade agents work, save time, and manage customers' data on a large scale. Then uh, the K15T team recently launched a new use case page showing, showcasing how users benefit from scroll viewport. Scroll viewport lets users uh, transform pages in Confluence into a public or restricted online help center. The ready-made th themes uh, make it easy to create a branded and customized site without writing a single line of code. The best part about this is that partners can use scroll viewport for free. So, you know, we can give it a try as well. If you ever wanted to understand how you can make use of this popular scroll viewport app, app I'll have it all detailed on this landing page. So go have a look. And that's it for the partners news. So many news this week. You said it's dry, but it's let's say. Well, that's about it for the news about Atlassian this week. Thank you so much for joining us for Monday Coffee with Jexo, where we scan through the latest news and updates from across the Atlassian universe. If you don't want to miss on the latest and greatest, what should we do? Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Correct. Subscribe to our Follow YouTube channel. Follow us on all of the, the social media. Yeah. Follow us on TikTok and everything. Exactly. So I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great week. Enjoy. Bye.